hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel today we will learn how we can use websocket it's really simple let's begin as you can see i downloaded uh, my own project from github and this is an old project let's close the readme and we have two screens in here uh, as you can see inside the E fragment we have E fra A fragment and B fragment. If I click the disco web view, as you can see, there are animation exist. And after the background uh, is launched, uh, the animation is gone. As you can see, uh, we can use our web view, web view in here. For example, Burak Selçuk. As you can see, I won't exist. Okay, let's look our project. Uh, we are using navigation for, for navigate the, uh, another page. Uh, for implement the navigation, uh, we are defined. We are defining a, a now version in here, and navigation grabs library we implement, and also we have a one plugin, uh, Safefox. After the things are synchronized now, uh, we created a navigation, my nav, and we have two destination in here, E fragment and B fragment, and we have an action uh, to E fragment to B fragment, E fragment to B, from E fragment to B fragment. Okay, let's look our layout folder. Inside the activity main, we have a fragment container web uh, for display our fragments. Okay, inside the E fragment, A fragment, we have just one text view, and also we are using view binding for access some UI components. And inside the B fragment, uh, we have a web view. This is match parents and match parents, and we have a animation in here. Lot uh, actually, it's not an animation; uh, it's an image view. Okay, inside the main activity, as you can see, uh, nothing. And inside the B fragment, we are defining our binding parameter in here. And also, uh, we have a set on click uh, listener. If we can, uh, if we click the this text view, application goes to another page. And this is the B fragment. This is the main thing actually. We define our binding parameter also, and also we created a variable URL uh, google.com. And uh, web view clients uh, we are using. Uh, we access the web view object from UI and web view clients. And uh, we put the, our URL inside our web view. URL and on page finish it and on receive error root uh, if our page is ready uh, our animation will gone uh, using this end loader animate function as you can see we've gone clear animation and we are starting we are starting to our animation uh, our page is uh, open first time uh, we call it our uh, function start loader animate inside our own web created function and we are stopping uh, this animation inside on page finish it if I uh, if we had any uh, error uh, this function uh, will work you can find this project uh, codes in the description below thanks for watching see you in the next video